Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. We are returning today to a series that I haven't been into for a while. We're going to try to build a real life aircraft and today that real life aircraft is going to be the Concorde. Uh, the Concorde was the only supersonic passenger airliner besides the Russian clone of it, which was like the Tupolev something, that has ever flown commercial flights. We're going to try to build something that has like similar specs to it today, and then I'm probably going to crash it because that's just how these videos go. So let's get right into it. Let's start with the cockpit. Now, this is tough because the Concorde doesn't actually really look like this, but it's the closest I think we're going to get. Now, the good thing is... Now let me find it before I say it's good. There is, there are these crew cabins, which do kind of look like the Conqueror. So I'm just gonna put like enough of these so that we got a real long boy. So that's probably good. And then we need our fuel, obviously. Two fuel tanks. Yeah, that looks proportionally correct. Um, oh, I need better agency or. Let's just do white, because I think, yeah, there we go. The Concord was that color scheme. Uh, medium wings. Uh, I've got a picture here right in front of me. So I'm going to consult that. Uh, the wings were these beautiful, like, swept design. I love I love swept wings on a plane. So you've got your, your thick root and your big wing angle so like that but probably that's a little excessive root length a little less wing angle a little less and then let's move these back nice nice <laughs> looking good already uh, and then we'll add the tail as a stabilizer so right here pretty good I think uh, and then, so the engines, this is where it's going to get a little finicky. The engines go under the wings, so let's do that from back here. There were four engines on the Concorde, and they were... Oh, see, now these look way too big. Yeah, no, those look, those look huge. Well, let's see if we can make it work. So bring them down a bunch. Down... Well, also, let's not make them these big ones. Let's make them the small ones. Small error. Okay, and then for the actual engines, so I'm just going to use the most powerful jet engine we have available. Uh, better in lower cruising speeds and altitudes. Obviously, we're not going to use the Goliath. Inefficient at sea level. So may maybe let's go with the Panther because it's not a fighter jet. So even though this does kind of look like a fighter jet engine. Uh, and then for the intakes, the Concord had intakes that looked like... Uh, hmm, they were the ramp. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. She's looking good already. Oh, nice. I get look at that. I guessed that almost perfectly. Veteran engineer here, guys. Uh let's bring that up a bunch. Down. Up. One. And then bring this over here. Perfect. Looking good. Now I think yeah, okay, so on the real Concord they were next to each other. So I'm gonna try to recreate that here. Let's bring it inward more and backward. And then bring this one up just a little bit and then in. <laughs> oh, nice. That looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Move them up just a little more. They look like they're too far down right now. There we go. There we go. Look guys, it's the Concorde. <laughs> The neck is a little long, I think. I think the wings need to be just a bit longer. Wing angle more. There we go. 
Uh, and then... You know what? Let's do this. Let's remove a section. Trying to get it proportionally correct. Yeah, that looks better. And then for the tail section, they had this, like, real pointy thing. Maybe this will work. Uh, let's do... Turn it around. There we go. And stick it right on there. I That looks pretty... That looks pretty Concord-like to me. Granted, it's much smaller than what the Concord would have actually been. Now we just need to add landing gear. So let's do that. Go to our landing gear section here. Get the medium landing gear for the front. That's way too far up. I'll move that in a second. And large landing gear for the back. Yeah, perfect. And let's bring you back a bunch. Yeah, it looks like it's like right here. You need to be careful when you place your landing gear because if you place your rear landing gear too far back from the um, center mass, you create like a really long lever arm between the center mass and where the landing gear are, so it's very hard for the thing to take off. Um, yeah, so I don't know how this is going to work. Let's try it out. <laughs> Let's see how she does. So, okay. Oh, she's a little wiggly. Okay. <laughs> Jet engine's active. It'd be really cool if this was like the most maneuverable plane I've ever built. Come on, buddy. I gotta adjust the landing gear heights. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, he's got some wiggle. We need some strut. Yeah, it's the front landing gear needs to be higher up. Come on, bounce. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to need to make some slight adjustments. Interesting. That's not, that's not, uh, not what we were looking for from that first flight. I have to be real with you guys, but it's okay. We're going to fix it up real fast. And then, if it works, we're going to try to do the bridge challenge with it, which is where we go under the bridge uh, in the KSC. So let's bring that up a tick. There we go. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of strut, to, tr but I'm going to try to do it in a way that's not, like, janky looking. That looks pretty janky. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. So, let's see here. Okay, it's still not at the right height. We're going to have to fix that. Okay, performing better. Plenty of, plenty of methane fuel, but... Uh, yeah, well, the air intakes need time to get up to speed, so let's get going. Up, up. You take off now. Ooh, okay, nice. So the Concord was able to super cruise at Mach 2. So, and at 18,000 meters. So we're gonna test that capability out of our very own Concord here. This thing is actually very nice to uh, steer. It's very responsive. It's got the wiggle neck. <laughs> Look at the Kerbal in the front, getting all bounced around. Ah! Once again, the crew interface. Oh, there's Valentina. Seems to be mostly broken. So we gotta climb to 18,000 feet, so let's, uh, let's see what this thing can do. Now, if we look at... These are a little too close together. I'm gonna move them apart. But otherwise... I don't know. Personally, I think that looks pretty cool. I think it looks a lot like the real Concord, actually, which is pretty pretty surprising. I almost didn't expect that. So let's time warp ahead here. Nope, you gotta go up. Up. Up, Concord, up. <laughs> up more, Concord. Okay, wait, I can... Let me trim it. Oh, well, now she's falling out of the sky. 
Oh no, so we're... Okay, we need a little more power, it seems. So maybe I'll, I will switch to the other jet engines. Let's turn here. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not gonna turn here. Oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, all right, let's switch to the other jet engines and then we'll try and see if we can do the bridge challenge with this thing. Uh, it, it actually, I am surprised. I thought that because we don't have like a droop snoot like the Concord has, we weren't gonna be able to really create a good recreation, but this came out pretty nice. Um, so let's just switch our jet engines. Oh, it's lagging. Oh no. Computer dying. <laughs> Computer dying. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Let's do it again. Let's launch this thing. Okay. So, get these engines activated and let's give it a try. Here we go. Looking more powerful than last time. That's always a plus. Oh, okay, let's lift off before we have any more problems. Okay. Gear up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, she's fast. Much faster. That's Mach 1. Uh, okay, chill out. <laughs> chill out, Concord. That's too fast. Are we time warped? No, it's just really quick. Okay. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Pull up, come on, pull up. She does not control super well, but that's fine. That happens. So it was just the engines because let's just prove, let's just prove real quick that this can exceed Mach 2. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on. There's Mach 1. Holy cow. Look at that thing. Look at it go. This is what Mach 2 looks like, if you're unfamiliar. Wow. It, okay. This, the purpose of this video has just changed. We're just going to see... Look at the wiggle in the in the snoot. It's got the snoot wiggle. We're gonna do one more flight. We're gonna see what the top speed of this monstrosity is. Actually, might be able to just let her go right now. See what happens. If you uh, are new to my channel, I have a video where I did a. It's called the Quest to Mach 10. It was a three-part series where we tried to reach Mach 10. Um, it was an insane challenge. We ended up having to build a rocket that basically delivered a plane to high altitude, and then the plane would point downward and fire its thrusters. And we did. We actually hit Mach, I think, 11.2. So that's like 343 meters per second is Mach 1. Obviously it changes with altitude, but just pretending it doesn't, that's like about Mach 3. So let's do one final flight. Just gun it. Just gun it. See what happens. We, we're going to see how fast our little Concord clone can go. I really hope supersonic aviation is something that they... They bring back because we do have the technology to do it but the uh, the problem is that supersonic aircraft create sonic booms and sonic booms over land are a little bit of a problem people don't like those usually well some people <laughs> I personally I'd be like that's pretty cool okay alt trim up perfect Okay, now we just let it go. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's so fast.
Some would argue that time warping is dangerous. I would argue, whatever. I'm using, so I'm using fun trick if you play Kerbal Space Program. I am using the Alt key combined with the controls, so that in this case, like the up and down arrow, to trim the, I guess they would be ailerons in this case, uh, or elevons on this plane, to try to get it to fly steady. We are going to hit the ground. We are going to hit the ground. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're out of fuel. I think we hit... I'm gonna have to review the footage there, but we were we were going pretty fast. And how much ground did we cover here? Let's see. Oh, not that much. I I, uh, I remember when I thought it would be possible to circumnavigate the globe without actually leaving the atmosphere. No chance. No chance. All right, let's do a little dive to finish this video off nicely. Okay, okay, Valentina, can you give us a dive? She says yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video making the Concord. Let me know what your own Concords look like and how fast they go. I uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Let's watch Valentina plunge into the water here. Bam. Okay. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day.